Well, the back stays off. We're all ready to lift the boat out. It has just gone half past nine. We're supposed to be lifting at half past nine. So we're just waiting for them to tell us that they're ready with the lift. And off we go. Daddy, she's coming to you. Valentine's Day today so while we wait for them to jet wash it and put it in its stand we we'll come for a meal you got a bit more salami <laughs> is that spicy no oh, you silly eat daddy's ham uh, are you waving goodbye Where are you going? Yeah. That was good timing wasn't it? Because you just woke up from your nap. Um, yeah. That's okay, we can move them. We've got our supervisor here, making sure that the workmen doing his job right? Is he doing his job right? He is. Daddy down the hole. Yeah. You don't need your flips. Okay. We're not going anywhere. Right. So I think take that bolt off there that's holding the mechanism on. It is disgusting down here. I might clean it all when I'm uh, when I've got it in pieces. So I think take that nut off. That should undo that clamp. Somehow take this off the top. And from what I can see, that's all that's holding it in at the top. Would you like me to turn the wheel so they can hear the clunking? I don't know if they'll be able to hear it. You can try it, yeah. Yeah. 
there. Just did it. I don't know whether you can hear it. I can feel it in the hall. Dudumf, dudumf. Right. I don't know if you heard that. So take that off the top. Take that out of there. I don't think I have to take that off the bottom, that base. I think that's just a support. That's the tube. That shouldn't have to come off, I don't think. And then take the shoe off the bottom of the keel that's holding the bottom of the rudder because we've got a keel stepped rudder is that what you call them? keel hung rudder we'll see what happens, that's tomorrow's job so here we are in the boatyard in the rain in gloriously warm and sunny Tenerife trying to get this rudder off so I've taken the bolts out of the shoe at the bottom out of here there were three bolts onto the other side and as you can see it's already dropped which is good because I was worried it would also be fiberglassed on and I was going to have to fight to, to get it off I've got it supported with this rope the, the rudder so if it does suddenly drop hopefully it won't smash into the floor and I've got two bits of wood underneath it and now I'm going to see if I can actually get the shoe off Wish me luck. Alright, so here I am in my hole. The rudder is now ready to come off. I've removed the clamp, which is down there. That was sat on top of there. That's the rudder stock. Um, I've removed the shoe that was on the bottom of the rudder that you saw me doing earlier. So now we just need the boat lifting up and the rod rudder should drop straight out. She's got all these toys, but all she did while waiting for her lunch was empty them all out so that she could sit in the box. Hey. Yeah, there's all your toys. Yeah. And you're in your box. <laughs> you took the car out, didn't you? So today is Thursday. We lifted out on Tuesday and we're just waiting for the boat to be lifted so we can get the rudder off. The lift is over the boat, aka the tractor is over the boat. We're just waiting for the guys to come and put the slings on and lift it up so we can get the rudder off. Yeah! We have an awkward boat. Because of the shape of Serena's keel, the fact that she's got a full length keel means that the front strap slips when they try and lift her, so they have to tie the straps together. Evangeline, you're supposed to be staying with Mama. I know you want to go to Dada, sweetheart. You have to stay with Mama for a bit. Good girl. She's going up. I really hope the rudder comes off easily. Should we go and see? Should we come closer? You're going up? Good. You're going up? No, I'm, I'm going to go up. Yeah. So. Okay.
I know you're hungry, beautiful. Well, the rudder's off. They're just about to lower us back down again. Hopefully we can find the source of the problem today. Big, big thank you to those guys, the boatyard guys. Could have done it without them, really. Because we weren't very much out, were we? Not really. We're just watching. Yeah. All right, I've got the rudder off with the help of the guys from the boatyard. But it's off, and uh, let's see what we found. Come into my hole. So, focus. Don't know how well you can see. Well, I'm not gonna see it all. Let's shine the torch down there. Ooh, this is tricky. Right, position it. So there's a um, plastic tube, one at the top, one at the bottom, rather than a physical bearing. And from first inspections, it looks like all that, all that it needs to be fixed is just re-greasing. When the rudder stock came out, there was no grease on it at all. And uh, you can see where it's been rubbing on these bearings bearings, plastic tubes, whatever you want to call them. So let's clean it up and uh, see what it looks like under all that old grease. Angie and I are on our way up to the supermarket. Stupidly, we're going in the middle of the day and we've got to go all the way up there. Yeah, we should have gone yesterday, shouldn't we? But we were busy, busy. And now, yeah, Daddy was busy as well. Now we've got nothing in for lunch, like literally nothing. What, sweetheart? Do you want to come in the carrier? We should have gone earlier this morning, really, before the sun got hot. But somebody was up at quarter to six in the morning, so then had a really early nap and only just woke up. So that's why we're only just going. If I'd have known you were going to have a nap, you could have had a nap in the carrier on the way up, couldn't you? Oh, how unorganised is mummy? Silly mama. But we can't walk past the park without having a play, can we? Yeah. Yeah. What are you playing with? Yeah. 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 It's actually a really nice area here. So you've got this big park. There's that play equipment. You've got a zip line. There's that that we were just on, and there's even more stuff over there. And then down there is an outdoor gym. Obviously you've got the lovely sea view and then further that way there's actually um, a dog park and there's drinking water it's really cool it may be an absolute leg killer walking up here and sweat producer but you do get a good view 
although we are not even at the top yet. There's Serena down there. We've just got a bit further to walk up that road before we get to the supermarket. So we're back from our sweaty walk up to the shop. We've had lunch and now Evangeline is simultaneously cooling down in the cockpit and having a rinse after eating yogurt. And uh, Daddy's in his hole. I think, yeah. There he is. Has he just died in there? I feel like it. <laughs> 